Oh, hi everybody. My name is Mr. Pauls, and yes, you can see my special surprise is I used no face cam. Yay! Oh, come on, people. Everybody of you can a little bit more cheer up. Everybody now, say yay! How disappointing. Ah. Uh. And, sorry for that. Okay. Now, I have to say welcome to my new Let's Play. I will play this week two different kind of games. I start now with that one. A space for the unbound. This game is from Indonesia, where my girlfriend is coming from. And the second game, I don't tell which game now, is then from Switzerland, where I came from. So now you see, understand how I will act, uh, you, I will play these two different kind of games, so you can learn about the difference about Indonesia and Switzerland culture. So I can always uh, uh, explain everything of uh, our country of my country, and my girlfriend can write down in the comments about her country. <sighs> now about this game. What do you, what, uh, what do you expect in, uh, here for the, in this game? Well, this is game is, um, how you said, a, a romantic one. Oh, yes, yes it tells out the story about two teenagers who get in love. No, 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 don't don't the press the stop button now no don't worry it's not about uh, everything about love because this story this game have also a dark story a really stark one you have already seen the warning at the at the beginning it's no joke this game has uh, also shows uh, pr uh, problems of the modern times or so let's say I better say of the Sociality of uh, I think in the past has also happened. So it's not all, only because it's a love story; it's also a sad story, a really sad story. And I think this sad story starts at earliest point at chapter two. So the first two chapters will be still happy, and after that, we're getting sadder and madder. So and uh, believe me, this game will takes really long. I think we will, will use maybe more as a month, maybe two months, uh, to finish that game. I hope the other Swiss game will be also take so long. Eh? Always a problem with the cables. So, and I already played that game, so it's not bl a blind for me. The Swiss game will be blind for me. Hmm? I will, I will uh, take off my glasses and I always. Hiding my eyes so I can have to play play uh, blind. Huh? No, no jokes. Okay. <laughs> um, well, kitty, my my kitty is over here. And my cat is over there. You know, see, everybody's in the same room. Maybe sometimes when you hear something meowing and so, so it's all in the background. But sometimes also in the game here, because we have also lots of cats here. And well, let's say I will start start with a new game. Lo the loading picture, of course. Oh, and um, I leave it now my uh, my camera down on the left side because um, the most talking about is more on the top. So not down here. It's out of, uh, maybe not just here at the beginning, and anything else not. So if you can see it right now, don't worry, it, it will be changed then after that. <clears throat> now I have, I have to now to start to speak. I tell a story about love and pain. It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak. And the cat was worried. Meow, Princess. Meow looks sick. Are you meow okay? The cat meowed. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye, to leave the world behind. Oh no, who say that? A 
have something for you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I show you my last miracle. Are you finished now with scratching? <coughs> That's uh, also with cats, with you little cats. They're always scratching around. <coughs> Something sh shone brightly in the palm of her hand. It was a miracle. He started again. The cat was stunned in awe, but it cried too. Oh, meow, princess, please don't. I can't let me g let go. Uh, <clears throat> let me go. The cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary, uh, teary eyes. Everyone wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed by my side. Thank you for being my friend. Snap, I can't. Me neither. Who say that now? And now we go to the next chapter. It was a warm, bright night. The glowy soft star princess turned into stardust. It was scattered to the skies above. But the light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone. The cat hugged the flower to itself. <laughs> oh, princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? It was great. Your story was so touching and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure and the characters, I love them all. But the princess... I love her the most. Oh, you! I'm glad you liked it. I was so kind of worried and not really confident about it all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. Then she should, uh, she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. <clears throat> but that one would be a brutal way to end the story, so I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's too violent and doesn't fit in it all at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comet? Well, I was last. It was last night. I was really worried and upset. I cast my eyes to the sky for inspirations. And when I see, uh, by the way, if I see the, there on the top, I see the, uh, the map of, of Middle Earth. Mm -hmm. Just just say that. <clears throat> For inspiration, and a comet flashes suddenly across the horizon, burning bright through the pitch dark night. Oh, jeez, I wish I was uh, awake last night. But still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for, uh, for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Oops, sorry, uh, sorry, I have to burp. <laughs> sorry, I forgot. Uh, because I have, I have to drink lemonade sometimes. <clears throat> I hope you didn't hear that also. Final chapter? There's more of it? Yes, it'd be more like an epilogue. But we can think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will... Um, the yellow flower they are about to... Uh, huh, weird. Hmm, what's wrong? All of, of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind has gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why, why don't uh, don't we go out and get some fresh air? It may help clear your mind. Ah, okay. And so it starts. That's us, our main character. Uh, look, his spice, his spicy, uh, spiky hair. Not spicy hair, spiky hair. 
And we need some fresh air. Why? Why? I think it, it looks so comfy. It look at least look at these canopies. Oh, they're so, they look so mo uh, motley. Uh, oh God! What a smell! Kitten, have you poop in, 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 the, in the kitty box? She looks very like me, and she will say yes. Okay, then let's go out. Oh, not this way. I have to go up there. Okay, just like that. How about now? Feeling any better? Uh, I don't know. What happened? Do you have writer's block? I don't know. It feels scary to think about. Dark and scary. It's so scary that I haven't been able to figure out what kind of story I want to tell yet. Yep, that's writer's block, alright. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The magic red what? The magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? Uh, yes. The book which contains the spell to dive into people's heart and write them of their inner turmoil. Oh yeah, the magic red book. Of course. Yeah, it comes in handy now and again. Where is it? Uh, I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry, I'm so careless. Hey, no worries, I help you find the magic red book. It might have left it around here. Keep your eye out of something red. Okay, I'm on it. Hmm, keep my eye on something red. Looks that red? I would say yes, it looks red for me. And I even have to already told you about my girlfriend that she comes from Indonesia, where she will sometimes or she can also write down sometimes about her country, uh, especially when I don't know how to explain it very well. She can she can do that very, very much better. Just just write down it in the comments, honey. For example, you can write down what means tambal. I don't know. Okay, this is something red. What is this? Why would someone put a page from a video game magazine here? It says double tap left or right to run. A classic tutorial. Wonder what game is it for? Hmm, yes, I mean, we're already moving around, but we can do it faster. Maybe you have to uh, tip the, uh, uh, the left side uh, twice. Oh, and it works. Hmm, let's see. Is the, can you see here a red book? On the top of the tree? Okay, I will ch check it out. Um, no, no red book is there. Okay. Oh, there is something red. Maybe it's there. Hey, where are you going? Help me find the magic red book, will you? Uh, I don't care. Okay, maybe I have to go on the other side. Maybe I can find some other magic red book. Hey, where are you going? Help me find magic red book, will you? No, still not. Okay, let's search for a red book. Hmm. Where can be a red book? Can you see a red book? What do you mean? I I on the chair? Really? Nah, there's, there's, there's of course no red book. You mean it? There's a red book? Okay. You're right, there was a red book. So, uh, so I was so surprised. Really fantastic word, uh, work. I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. Well, you think so? Okay, now we have to show it to this girl. Here. Hey, is this what you were looking for? The magic red book. You found it! Go on then, try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you. <coughs> Can you help me? Bountiful, magical, mystical co-writer. Please, 
please, begging, please, Pre pretty begging, please, with lots of sugar and cream on the top with sherry and chocolate spring. Please, 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 Whoa, calm down. Okay, I help you. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the magic red book. See it? See what? You see a dancing flower above someone's head. A dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. Then you just open the book. Is, is that it? No dancing or chanting required? Just open the magic red book. That's it. Hurry up and try it already to open the magic red book. Alright. We're doing this to get right, uh, rid of whatever it's you scared of when I use the magic red book. Ow! Hey, that's also not necessary. necessary. Okay, I will stop it. And to, <coughs> and to find the final chapter of the story I want to tell. And now you see, this is the yellow flower. Looks more like an island in the sky, but who cares. And now we have to dive. But this is the special power of our character. He can use the... the uh, can I open the book now? Already? No? Okay, I can't open it now. Okay, this will be also uh, our diary for everything. And uh, I have a magical power, and also the other girl, our girlfriend has a magical power. Which one? You will find it out. Now let's dive into the heart of that girl who is afraid of her about the story. I'm scared. Too scared to think about the final chapter. Well, about what I might find. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Just think. I never finished anything before. This final chapter. Will I ever be able to finish it? Well, let's find out what we have here. I picked up a key. I wonder what it opens. Hmm. Will it open this door? Nah. Since when open a key a door? Uh, maybe we have to try out. Shocking. It has, re it has really worked. A key can open a door. Weak. That's the stupidest end whatever. Why are we not so fast? It's a waste to think of it. Delusional. Everybody's laughing about her, but she has written. But what has she, what she has written? It was a warm, bright night. The glowing self star princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But the light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. And bloop! Now we can have find the final chapter of the book of the story of the girl on the of us. I have an idea and it could uh, be useful. Oh, really you think so? Now we have to go back to the girl and give the paper idea. This story. I'm still afraid, but this... Should I... Should I tell this story? Could I finish it? Yes, this is it! Sorry, always burping around. It's now here. Whoa! I just realized how far we walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is... 
It feels like I'm walking in outer space. Kind of like an out-of-body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use the magic red book. I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? Nah. Sounds a little bit too silly. Maybe if you... Uh, let's, uh, let's find out. Just write down if you have a better name for that. Huh? You can write down now in the commentary what you think what we can use as a, for, uh, other word as space dive. Space dive? Yeah, that sounds cool and informative. Boring. Yeah, you dive into the space of my heart. Space dive. So, did the space dive actually help? Yes, the space dive already helped. I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh wow, cool! For real? Yes, it's the big blue star. The big blue star what? Yes, the big blue star. It's called her. When the South, South Star Princess died, her final wish was to go back there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one who to escort her back? Exactly. Oh wow, that sounds like it'd be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Kerr writer's inside is, as, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the star. Prince, uh, star Princess st uh, story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? You say, if you say so, well, hooray! Hooray! Yes, hooray! To the final chapter! Yes, the final chapter! Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah, we need a spaceship! Whoa, a spaceship? Hey, we can use a spaceship like Bobo Bobs. We we'll have our own classic style. Yes, and in the end, the, the Star Princess and the cat will explore the space together with new spaceships. And the good news is, if I've already buy, uh, built the ship myself. What? When you did? When did you? Can I see it? Where is it? Haha! <laughs> I've been working on it after school for the last three weeks. I was going to surprise you. Of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river, so you wouldn't find it. You cross the river by yourself? That's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and fought loads of times now, and look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with the magic power to propel it through space. And the thing is, the Star Princess magic wand, of course. But I left it at home. Oh, well, that sucks. Should we go uh, and pick up? Uh, no, uh, I can't uh, go there right now. My house is not good right now. My father, he's... Hmm. Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is is in your room, right? I go get it. Are you sure? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries. I still feel like a cat, you know. I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I help as much as I can, but you have to promise me if you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together and we finished it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? Uh, uh, sorry for, for the people. We didn't do something naughty, of course. No, no, nothing naughty. It's on the second floor. The magic wand should be somewhere in my table. 
Oh, and one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Bosque, will always know where to go. Meow. Copycat. <laughs> Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at uh, base uh, for me at base camp. It's not safe to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right. But the air is so nice and fresh here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. All right, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. Uh. You said that already, you know? Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I ever had. Oh, no need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Yes, that's why I go to other way. Ah. Well, honey, what do you think? Ooh, where could be this place? Of you don't, can you say it now? But you will find maybe we will maybe recognize somewhere else a place. And now we have here the fluss. Hmm. Yeah, that's all. The fluss is called in German the river. I never forget forget uh, the lessons. Okay, Boske. Now let's go. Oh, there's an other cat. We have to interact. But with Boske, I can't. Oh, why not you, my, my dearest friend? I have to go back. Maybe we have to sit, lie down here? No. I have to do that because there is an... an I, can, I can only get a one page when, I have, when I'm touching all cats. And so I'm not sure about the uh, Bosque. Okay, now always running. I can also press the button to run if I want. Luckily, every... After every time, oh, who's there? I see you. Well, this is our girlfriend. She, uh, she's a little bit shy. She always hiding. Oh, touch that cat here. And this guy is just make a break. Hmm. Now you're drinking some water. And water in German means Wasser. Wasser. Hmm? Oh, now we have uh, three, uh, two cats here to touch him. Touchy, touchy. And every cat like it. Hmm. Ah, uh, and the bridge. Now, what do you say? What do you say, honey? Co uh, so, looks this place familiar to you? Hey, slow down, dude. The traffic ba traffic's bad enough as it uh, is. You want me to hit your fancy car, huh? Uh, what car? I don't. I don't drive here. I'm just walking around, and I can already already move around. Ah, this uh, this way is blocked. Ah. So I have to move on the left side. Freshly fried chimol, hot and freshy, delicious chimol. Come and get your chimol. I don't know what is chimol, honey. Can you write down what is chimol? Come on, chimol. Or, 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 I also don't know how you should say that right. Maybe you say that uh, not, uh, maybe as chimol. Hmm? Honey, you, you, can, you can write it down how to say that. Come on, chimol. Come on, chimol. Konnichiwa! <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should change the name to something more attention grabbing. Nah, I don't think so. Chimo sounds great. And you too? I have a spoonful of that hot sauce! Uh, just one? Give me two spoons. I like it spicy. But. That's tomato ketchup. It looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? No, that 
without count. I can I can eat a lot of spicy. Okay, my girlfriend can can say that. And uh, by the way, this is a, a little bit a funny a, a funny story. Uh, when you go to Indonesia and asking for ketchup, don't say ketchup because ketchup uh, ketchup in uh, Indonesian means soy sauce. Uh, what was again for ketchup uh, in Indonesian? Okay, how do you can you can also write down what the people have to order uh, to say ketchup in in your uh, in your mother language? I have already forgotten that. Ah, oh no, this guy, this dude. Behold the great coming of doom. The stars are dying. The sky is falling. You see us, the diseases, floods, and droughts are raging the land. Can you see it? The mountains are trembling, ready to erupt at any time. Judgment Day is coming, death is open us. The omen has been fulfilled. Oh, wandering soul, did you see last night's news? The comet of doom has finally come. Don't you want salvation, you my dear child? For only one million rupiah, you could own this spirit infused gemstone made from meteorite. Very useful when the meteorite destroyed the earth, you can survive. It's a holy talisman, what will it save you from the cataclysm? What? You don't believe me? How dare you? This gemstone was crafted by uh, 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 the famous oracle uh, um, um, uh, Jabba the Hutt, uh, I mean Jayabaya uh, himself. What? You haven't got any money? Well, I guess it's your destiny to be cursed then. Nobody cares. Oh man, believe me, that guy will be also a, a big part of the story. I think it's in chapter 5. Where did that brat go? He still hasn't done his homework. I don't know. Can you describe me? I will bring it at home. Oh, two lovely birds. WC, yeah, the water closet. Oh, I don't know where the water closet is. And the, uh, with you, I can, I can uh, talk. Oh, sorry, hi. Sorry, dear. But with you, I can talk. Uh, subdued, what do you think? Huh? But I'm sorry? About this Kero, uh, Kero Gong beat, or the Kero Jong. I think you can that also explain that now. It's a mixed table of, I recorded myself. So what do you think? Uh, yeah. Cool, totally awesome. Dude. I know, right? Not everybody appreciates Kerouac Kong, especially these days. It's an old music genre, brought over by the colonials and then perfected by us locals. It's soothing, soothing, you know, a perfect accompaniment for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape, my trade. Huh? Uh, oh no no! Uh, you don't have to. Please, dude! It's such a rare occasion meeting a fellow Hong Kong music fan, you know. Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I have burped. Uh, thank you, you very much. I guess I received a Hong Kong uh, cassette tape. I don't really understand Hong Kong music, uh, though. Uh, yeah, um, this is a spe special Indonesian music, but also a big city is of uh, of the violins of the European, and also some uh, how you say that bells. It's not like it's not like bells. Um, I have uh, I have already seen that on the ground. <sighs> yeah, that's exactly what I mean. What uh, what I can explain very well. My friend, girlfriend, honey, you 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 can do that much better. You can uh, all explain. Maybe, maybe you have to find a link for that. Huh? Yeah, maybe. I will. I search for a link. Then you can go to see it. 
how you say see uh, just uh, how is it play there's really lots of gongs on the ground where they can play it on directly down there and also flutes and so and also German lesson for today we have here a cigarette what it means in German Zigarette so don't smoke hmm? Cigarettes are bad, okay? You shouldn't uh, smoke, okay? <laughs> it's really bad for you, okay? Then we have here a ladder and a guy. In today's news. Oh no, this is. Uh, maybe. No, it's a female. Oh, it's a woman. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I just I didn't see, the, see your dress. In today's news, another interstellar comet was started to fly over the city. It's the first comet spotted this week. Never the government for uh, uh, not uh, National Space Agency have released an official statement regarding these pe uh, peculiar events. Huh. Looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me, I'm already married. Ah, she's really worried about it. Oh yes, that guy. I need uh, that guy. I need. To oh, hello, my girlfriend. Are you always hiding from me? I know you're watching me. Okay, I can't go there. I've crossed this street here. A house should be on this block. Uh oh, somebody's here. Hello, Mrs. Derry. Are you going to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over the? There together. Of course. Oh, oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you. No. Uh. What's the matter? Is there something wrong? My daughter, lately, she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband. Well, things aren't going well with his boss. He's been a little stressed over. Well, over the money we have to borrow to get Niamala into school and. He's taking it all on. It's it's all out on Niamala. <laughs> Today she locked herself. She locked locked herself in her room, and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my! I'm so sorry to hear that. Why is she scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to them about all of this, but I really don't know how what to say. Well, why don't we go to that meeting a little earlier and we can talk about it on the way. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry, you can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? Yes, and this is Niamala's mother. They're gone. Now my chance. This must be her house. Hey, Bosco, how you do you uh, go up there? The gate is locked, but her father is like is likely inside. I'd be dangerous to go through the front door. Maybe I would be easier if I pretend it was here to visit her. But I can't risk letting her father know that she uh, sneaked out of the house. Besides, he think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all too risky. But I have to get the magic wand, a magic wand for her. What should I do? Meow. Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, the window on the second floor must be lead in directly to her room. Now I am supposed to reach the second floor. Hmm, maybe I need uh, something like a ladder. Okay, there's no way to, to go there. Hmm, now I have to find a ladder. Hmm, where? But now you see, the little girl's name is Niamala. So, that was her mother. She was really a sad, a sad about her. Because she's not happy in school. Oh, what's wrong with you, my, my, dear, my, my dear worker? Ugh, busy. <sighs> I always so busy and sleepy. Exactly what an exemplary, low played civil defense officer should be. 
Hmm. Hey, kid. What are you doing with my leather? I um, I just almost you by by your leather, sir. Wow, this leather looks really sturdy. And chrome. Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble. Nobody touches my leather. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I <sighs> could get some sleep. Uh... Damn, I could definitely use this ladder to get to Niamala's room. Do I have anything else I could use? Yes, the, ma the magical red book. Can I use it to write now? Yes, of course you can use it. Now we're diving in his heart. Latch. Oh, what's that noise? <sighs> so sleepy. Staying awake to see the comet last night really took it out of me. I've been staying awake just by keeping busy, but now all I want to do is sleep forever. But I can't fall asleep just yet. Not without shutting off the, that loud ringing noise. Not without turning off those damn red lights. And of course, not without listening to my favorite Carol Kong music to distress. <sighs> and any what is to you to do is sleep. I understand that. Okay, first we have to knock that. Alarm clock? What? It won't turn off. What a strange clock. Okay, maybe we have to find it here something. What have you found? A baton! Oh, through the result of two violence. Yes! Take this! Wow, the flower is blooming. I wonder what would happen if I made all the rest bloom too. And now he takes his favorite cassette of the new music. Now we turn off the lights. Hmm. This feels good. I'm going to close my eyes just for a minute. I can't uh, uh, right <laughs> Oh wow, he's fast asleep already. Thanks to Magic Red Book. I guess I won't mind if you borrow this letter then I will leave. Time to get the magic wall, but then I want. And now we take the light, the lighter. Yeah, turn for ladder. Lighter. And now we can, uh, we can sneak into Niamala's house. But don't worry, we don't take a look about here underwear, of course. We are just a good boy. Now let's see. Okay, there are school dresses. Nah, okay, we have to search here. No, nothing. Nothing to search. Oh, just take that, the magic wand. Okay, they've done it. There it is, the Star Princess magic wand. I still can't believe how she managed to imagine all these wonderful things. What a creative, precious kit. I've got the magic wand. Oh. Brad! Open the door! You are grateful, kid! How dare you look... Uh, you lock the door! You skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door! You're still doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't ya? Have you got any idea how much money I had to borrow just to get you into that desert school? And this is how you repay me! 
You spoiled brat! Oh, snap. Things are getting tense around here. It better get out of here before I smash this door open. Uh... Should I? A rebel child? Ah. Hmm. A rebel child, a stupid wife. I'm so blessed. Yes, this is not a lovely... This is the nice, lovely uh, father of Niamala. It's starting to rain. Niamala should be waiting for me at base camp. And now we have to go back all the way. Should we take the ladder? No, we can't. We have to leave it here. Oh, the poor man, he has no such ladder. Luckily, he's where he's sleeping in inside of the, or oh, where is uh, dry, because the regen ah, is so refreshing, and regen is German for rain. The rain is getting heavier. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope she's reached the base camp by now. I hope so too. Nobody is here. The streets are empty. Oh, even that guy is gone. Oh, hello, my love. My little girlfriend, why are you hide always hiding? Come here and say hello. No, you don't want it. Jeez. Okay, we're almost there. I already arrived the bridge. And now, shortly the base camp. Nyamala, hello! How, where are you? Where is she? She's not here. Help! Huh? Someone, anyone, help! Help somebody! That voice, don't tell me. It's a voice! Don't worry! I'm, I'm coming to help you! Uh, uh, just a moment. Oh, I'm already there. Hey, help, help me. I can't swim. Niamala. Help me. I can't swim. Damn, I can't swim either. Uh, uh, hang on. I have to find something to reach you. Just get to here quickly, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer. I'm scared. And now I have to use the magic wand. Here, try to grab this. Ah. And it's broken. Surprise. Ah. Blutsch. Is falling down. Damn it! So sorry, I was start started by the thunder. Don't worry, I will get you out of there. Hold on. All right, try try to grab the book. Grab the book. Why do you, why are you looking out for something else? Uh, easy, easy. Just a little bit. Crack. Atma. No, Atma. I, I'm coming, coming to get you. Ah, uh, we, and we can, we can make it. We make it together. But she gets fear. Uh, I got, I got fear, fear and fear of her. I have. Uh, we have a story to finish, right? And now we go. Deep on the ground. Again, 
by More Chicken Studio and Toga Productions. Producer Eka Pramutita. And somehow, you see the flower here? And somehow, this scene reminds me of the, of the cartoon show Over the Garden Wall. Have you seen it? The final episode? Somehow it reminds me of that. And what will happen when we get around? But there's a t uh, also table and television. Oh, finally, we can see our, fine, uh, our favorite uh, TV show. We just now a light. Hold it in two hands, and these two hands belongs to our girlfriend. Have she saved us? Maybe yes. Who knows? Maybe we will arrive in a magical, mystical wor world, like in Over the Garden Wall. A space for the unbound. Prologue Atma ends. And also, do you want to save it? Yes, of course, you see it. I have already beat the game. It really takes a long time for that. How much have I take? Uh, let's see, 20 hours? 20 hours, 20, uh, for 20, 42 minutes? Long time. So it's really a long, it will be really long. Yes, of course, I will save that. And... Oh, no, this is the play time. Oh, how long have I taken for that? Just 15 hours, uh, 60 minutes. Okay, it's not so much. Okay. <laughs> See, I have I to say we do the wrong side. <laughs> but now, well, this is now the first video of A Space for the Unbound, the prologue. I hope you like it. And I hope you will, uh, we will see us again hmm, in the next episode or next game, in the Swiss game. And honey, don't forget to write down uh, about the mu music and of course about this I want food. <laughs> then we'll, we'll see us again in the next episode or in, let better say next video of the Swiss game. Hi, Mr. Paus and say cheerio until to my next video